Google, 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 Google. You are falling behind. Soon, instead of saying, hey, let's Google something, we're going to be saying, let's Bing something. I know this has been tried in the past and it failed, but maybe not for long because now that ChatGPT is out, you know, Microsoft gave them $1 billion to open AI to kind of help out with the research and development of this. So Microsoft has a say in what goes on in open AI to a certain extent. And now they say, well, we want some of that AI in our search engine Bing. And sources are saying, sources down below, that as soon as March of this year, Bing is going to incorporate AI into their search. How's it gonna work? I'm not sure, but there is already a search engine that incorporates AI into itself somehow. Let me show you that. This is called you.com. It's a search engine. Let's say, uh, oh, it's got suggestions. Best laptops, cool. <laughs> Come on, I don't think so. Gateway still makes laptops? Gateway still exists? Had no idea. Did you know Gateway still makes stuff? <laughs> anyway, getting off topic here. There's this little button here called chat. And guess what? If you click on that, it'll take your search term and it'll use an AI engine to give you some results. You can ask it anything, all right? So it competes with ChatGPT right now. And this is free. Well, for now it's free. I don't know if it's gonna continue being free or what, but let's take a look at this. Write a JavaScript function to sum two numbers. <laughs> look at that. It's giving me a JavaScript function that sums two numbers and it's got the code snippet right there. And it shows you how to use it. Look for Familiar? Oh yeah, this is now available right inside your search engine. If Google implements this, they're not only gonna know what you're searching for, but they're also gonna know what you're generating with the AI. And they might advertise to you based on what you just did. So for example, uh, maybe they'll advertise some JavaScript courses for me or JavaScript related YouTube videos with ads in it. Not that I know anything about that. You can also go to you.com directly and there's a button right here. It's called Introducing You Chat. It's a new button go directly to it. So it's a conversational AI, just like ChatGPT is. And it also remembers context like ChatGPT. So what is thermodynamics? Blah, 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 blah. It's a branch of physics that deals with heat, work and temperature. Great. It also gives you a link to Wikipedia, which is something that ChatGPT doesn't do because ChatGPT doesn't link out to the internet. It also limits itself to anything 2021 and older. Although I did actually make a query to you, Chat, about the queen. Let's see if they have an update here. Tell me about the queen. She's the longest reigning monarch having reigned since 1952. So yeah, some of the data is a little bit outdated even here. And I don't know when the data set is limited by. I haven't found that yet. If you know, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, it does say the product is in beta and the accuracy may be limited. So use it wisely and carefully, just like you use any AI. It also says UChat does not use Microsoft Bing. The web, the news, the video, or other Microsoft Bing APIs in any manner. Other web links, images, news, and videos on you.com are powered by Microsoft Bing. So I have no idea what the heck that's saying. It's like saying we do use Bing, but we don't use Bing. Anyway, if you wanted to use an AI like chat interface inside of a search engine, there you go. It's integrated in there in you.com. So if ChatGPT is busy doing something else, you got this tool to try this out as well. Now there's also a couple of new open source tools that are coming along that also integrate a chat-like interface with context and a conversational AI model. It seems like recently, anytime there's a commercial product, an open source product is close behind. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see a video on that. So what is Google gonna do about this? Well, they're being careful. Specifically, they're saying, while ChatGPT could help Bing challenge Google's dominance, Google has already said it won't immediately launch its own rival because of reputational risk. So Google is worried because of the biases and factual problems that a conversational AI like ChatGPT has been shown to have. Google has their own thing that they're working on. They just haven't publicly released it yet. So we'll see what happens with that. Maybe it'll be way better. Or also we have to keep an eye out for ChatGPT4, but they're going to call it probably something else. Who knows? That's going to be interesting too. And I wonder how soon that's going to be available for public use and how much better it's going to be than Chad GPT right now. Is it going to get rid of the biases? Is it going to give more factual information that's more accurate? What do you think about this upcoming change in Bing? Are you going to start using Bing? Um, let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> See you later, folks. Have a good one.